And hello again, folks. It is I, Comic Cosmic, here to bring you another fix that I end up having to run into myself. And so hopefully this fix is someone. I don't know if anyone else has made a video on this because I generally don't look at YouTube videos myself. I provide the addiction. Um, first of all, I'm going to cover that I do not support piracy. Under any circumstance, you will not find any of that stuff here. If that's what you're looking for, you can shoo. I physically own a PlayStation, and I physically own a copy of the game I'm going to use. I even made the dump of the game myself. So, I am just letting you know that I completely own what I'm using. So, first of all, I mean, well, not first of all. The only thing you have to do is click Options, go to CPU Overclocking, and select Times 1. I can't unselect it. It's just not selected when you first launch it. Um, hopefully, this fixes your problem. And to demonstrate that it does work, we're going to just go Run ISO. We're going to go to Grandia. And then it does the whole standard controller thing. It takes its sweet little time loading. Da, 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 da. And there you go. And just to make sure you do see that it is working. I don't know if I set the keyboard up. Apparently not. As you can see, it is working. So I was just setting this up for a live stream uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, because I can get a controller then. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I hope this works out for you. If it doesn't, I do apologize in advance. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Blah, 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 blah. And goodbye.